Hi everybody. I hope you're having a great day and welcome to the New Sage channel. In this video, I'm going to be covering Iron Man's Endosim armor, which also goes by the name Armor Model Number 50. And I personally tend to call it just the symbiote armor. Now, of course, Iron Man's real name is Anthony Stark, and he stands six foot one and he weighs 225 pounds, having blue eyes and black hair. Now, the symbiote armor made its first appearance in Avengers Volume 5, issue number 32 in September of 2014, but that was just a cameo. He made his first full appearance in Superior Iron Man issue number one in January 2015. Now, the backstory of this armor is that following the inversion spell which altered his moral axis, Tony Stark moved to San Francisco where he planned on transforming the city into a utopia using the Extremist 3 app. Now, of course, since he was exhibiting some of his worst traits during this period, he was expecting exorbitant fees to be paid to Stark Industries because of this. Now, during this time, he had designed a new suit of symbiotic biological armor partially based off of the Clintar symbiote biology, similar to Venom. He's quoted as saying that he's taken building blocks directly from the symbiote to integrate into the suit. The Endosim armor is a full liquid smart metal which hardens instantly on connection with the user's body. And unlike another suit of similar abilities, the Iron Man armor model number 37, this suit is based off of symbiote biology, so it doesn't rely on any technology for the initial bonding process or startup. It's completely psionic. Now, the psionic bonding with the suit allows its user to control it remotely and call for it with no need of electronics at all. Stark has stated that the suit can feel him in the same way that he can feel the suit and referred to it as being alive. This connection extends to the point of it forming fully into a humanoid form that has similarities to that of a symbiote suit even when not bonded to someone, even being able to punch through barriers in an attempt to get to its owner at psionic command, but it does not have intelligence of its own, only a psionic link. The endosim suit can be sent out whether by psionic or vocal command to attach to a user other than Tony so as to either protect them or to restrict their movement to only what Tony desires but not capable of using the suit themselves due to his psionic connection. This armor's repulsors are a white blue in color, but when he's preparing to attack someone, they switch to a red for an air of menace. Due to his intrinsic connection to the armor biologically, his own eyes sometimes light up red or blue in addition to the lights on the armor itself. These repulsors are so powerful that they can even bypass the abilities of individuals such as Havoc who can absorb energy. The armor can absorb electromagnetic energy once it finds the correct frequency of this said energy. However, although living beings of electromagnetic energy such as spectrum can be absorbed, they can break free of the armor, causing it to temporarily dissolve in a select portion before reassembling. The armor is also capable of withstanding the lightning called forth by storm with minimal, if any, damage at all. There's also a thruster behind the elbows of the armor's arms, allowing for increased power when punching or otherwise striking someone, including allowing for needles to pass through very tough skin. This armor's thrusters don't function when deprived of an oxygen-based environment, though, as they rely upon a combustion engine. This armor can also be used to subjugate possessing entities, such as an eight-year prior incarnation of Tony Stark, who had possessed a version of the Iron Man armor model number two. When the main faceplate is removed, a graphene layer replaces it to allow for bulletproofing of the face while providing an unobstructed view of his head and facial region. The armor can also have more of its forming compound added to increase its size, granting it a Hulk-like appearance and physique. It can also release tendrils of its material to enter into automated armors in order to determine the source of their intelligence. The same tendrils can be spread out even further, making a punch capable of causing an armor to explode from the inside out. And unlike most symbiotes, Tony Stark has learned to shield this one against sonic attacks. Now, Iron Man's symbiote armor is very interesting and intriguing to me. And due to its powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give him a rating of 8, which is a nostalgic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.